What's up everybody, Avignon here with week 9 of Fortnite Chapter 3, Season 3. And we got another really easy week, I think they're taking it easy on us because it's the final, well, not the final week, I mean, I did the math and we're going for week 15 will be the last week, I believe. So, you know, these final weeks tend to be kind of not that much anyway, so they're just taking it easy on us. The only thing that might be a problem is getting free chests on Tilted Towers on the same match. That could be a problem. But everything else is pretty easy. Uh, if, we, if we complete these week's challenges, we will unlock another headpiece and an arm piece for Snap. And we unlock, and if you've done every single week's challenges, including this one, we're going to unlock another, the final torso piece for a snap and then next week will be the final leg piece and then arms and, and arms and head pieces will be until the end of the season so yeah some things we're gonna we gotta watch out for this week is that we're going to need is the charged smg the shield keg and a wolf or a boar that we're gonna have to mount once again so before we start don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel Use code Avignon at the Epic Game Store or the Fortnite item shop. Let's start this and we are landing on kind of the sanctuary area and we need to do the challenge bounce on three separate crash pads without landing. Now there are crash pads on the map right now as loot and I don't know how many stacks you get. I don't think it's three stacks by the way. It might be two. But these crash pads are permanent. I don't think they can get destroyed. So initially I went for the grapple gloves because I wanted to, you know, jump on one crash pad, use the grapple glove, jump on another. I did that, but it didn't count. You know, I wanted to do it on these crash pads first because they are kind of far away from the ones I felt that a lot of people landed on the other ones. But I just went there and I guess people were already done with the challenge. I was able to do it. So as you can see there, there are two options that you can do. They're pretty close. The one I do it, you know, you have to go over the a little island, but it's still very doable. Then the ones right, the last pad that I go to, you know, there are three there that are way closer. So pretty easy on the sanctuary. So now we're going to do the challenge gain shield while emoting. So we're going to use the shield gag for this. So we're just going to use the shield gag and emotes while we're getting shields uh i think other ways to do this would require someone else to give you shield using the splash or destroying a shield barrel but i think by yourself this should be the only way i can think of maybe yeah finding shield gag shouldn't be a problem so yeah pretty easy stuff so from here the next challenge hold a charge smg at max charge for three seconds then damage an opponent. To be fair with you, I just realized that they asked for 3 seconds. I didn't read that the first time. But luckily, as you can see here, as soon as I see an enemy, I charge the SMG max out. And once I get a clear shot, I just shoot for this. And thankfully it was 3 seconds. Way more than 3 seconds, actually. And there is no actual damage amount. So if you see the guy really far away, even if you do the minimum damage, just hit him once, it's gonna count here. But you know, the recoil of this gun is kind of crazy. So maybe, I don't know, from far away, it could be a problem. But they can also get to you and then you can do it again. Or you can do it against a wolf, I'm sure it's gonna count as well. So next up, collect seeds from reality seed pods before they stop bouncing. So I'm going here at Condo Canyon, it's a new location. I'm not gonna show you new, lo new locations in the old ones because it's week 9. You kinda know I'm gonna link you to the ones I showed in the previous videos and that's good enough. There are other new places, whatever. <laughs> so what you gotta do is destroy the pod. They don't always spawn free reality seeds. Uh, I got lucky here they did. You can grab the seed in the air and then when they touch the ground, they will bounce a few times. So I got super lucky here. I got all three in one thing because they were kind of in an angle location. So the final one was still bouncing in the water. 
And if I couldn't get this here, you know, there's another seed right there. And it doesn't have to be on the same pod or the same match. If you only get one, you can do one on the other two in the other match or one in each match, doesn't matter. So now that we have a seed, we're gonna use it for the next challenge. Plant or summon in a reality sapling 30 or more meters away from yourself. So we're gonna ping the ground to get an idea of the 30 meters. And uh, I tried doing this, you know, just going 30 meters away from the ping, but it didn't seem to launch. Uh, you're not able to launch the thing that far away. So what I tried to do is I went up into a building and it didn't count. Uh, I don't, I think it still wasn't enough. And then I tried again uh, running away from the pod from what I, I from the seed, but it didn't count again because it didn't plant. I think if you have a, a planted seed already, you can't plant again. Or uh, maybe the way I thrown the thing was too close to my seed and it didn't count. I don't know what was the problem, but I had to destroy the one I planted to throw another one. And so what I did above the building, just throw it as high as you can and just 180 and run away. And hopefully you're gonna get this. If you can go get super high, like in Tilted Towers maybe, you'll get even more distance there. So yeah. And speaking of Tilted Towers, next challenge, open chest at Tilted Towers in a single match. Free chest, I'm gonna start with these ones, including the ice machine on the gas station of Tilted Towers, and it, they didn't count. At first I thought it was because the ice machine doesn't count anymore. But you can see I get the one in the chest in the gas station and also doesn't count. There is another ice machine the other side of Tilted Towers and it should count. That's definitely in Tilted Towers and you know, chest, uh, ice machines used to count as chests. Maybe they changed that, I don't know. So the way I did it, I went for the ones in the middle. I, I didn't even know where the chests are anymore in the Tilted Towers. No, for the new buildings at least. Uh, to be honest, the, the old buildings don't have a lot of chests. You might not get three of them, you know, especially now that it doesn't have a hundred percent spawn and you're competing with other people, they might get to the other chest by the time you reach another chest, so I, I don't know. An idea I had was actually to try on Team Rumble. You know, I know you have a lot of people you might have to worry about. That is, if they want to do the challenge, you know, to the Taurus isn't the same as it used to be. So maybe in a few weeks, people won't care. But on Team Rumble, you start with a gun. So if you need to, you can kill opponents. And if you do have teammates trying to do the challenge, at least they're not going to kill you. So one, if they're busy getting their chests, you can just go to some other chest and they're not gonna kill because they can't obviously. So yeah, I, I didn't do it that way so I don't know if it's actually would be easier. But it's just an idea if you are having trouble a little bit there. So the final challenge of the week, deal damage to opponents while riding a wolf or a boar. So initially here I did some damage to an opponent uh, to the towers. But as usual the best way, the easiest way for you to do this is against wolves. Uh, each wolf should have 250 health so you're just going to need two wolves. And the other easy alternative would be going to Mancake, starting a duel and just doing 500 damage. He has I believe more than 500 damage so it should definitely do for this challenge. It's, it's cumulative you don't have to do it all at once in one match. You know just do it at your own pace I guess. And I'm not sure about this, but I don't think animals are available on Team Rumble. You know, the Evolve has been back and forth about this, and I'm, I don't play Team Rumble anymore, so I don't know. Now, obviously, if they are available, it should be easier. I guess they can kill the animal pretty fast. But yeah, that is it, everyone. Another week, week 9 of challenges. Pretty easy stuff. Next week will be the final week that I'll do this commentaries for this season you know just so yeah the final five weeks i'll just i'm not even doing i'm not doing commentary or even putting any text in the video we're just gonna see hopefully i can post it faster 
and we'll see what happens. And then next season, I plan on streaming the challenges so that I can get the challenge, the video even faster. And we'll see if I'll actually do an edited, an edited version of the video. Maybe just a live stream. Maybe I won't do the live stream at all. I don't know. That is the plan for now. But yeah, that is it for the week. I'll see you next week for more. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Use code Avignon at the Epic Game Store in the Fortnite item shop. I'll see you next week for more. Goodbye.